Homicide, Dave McDonald. You go out to New York City, find a homeless guy, murder him, Batman snuff rises. Chris Pepper Stanley. Jedi, so much the best better. one. Oh. I'm sorry I don't like the second one the best like everyone else. Sean O. Barry. This is what you get in my house with spilling paint in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> Do I stutter? Roy Schaefer Harder. Who was ready to Kill don a Yankee, Yankee outfit and go <laughs> bash people's brains and run through the streets? They are the movie experts. They are the movie masters. They are the Watchers. Watchers! Here we are. Yeah. I love that tune, huh? That's because you wrote it. You right. you self congratulating piece of garbage, but I love you. I like it. Too. I love you because you're a musical genius. I asked him for a John, a hybrid of John Williams and Danny Elfman, and this is what he gave me. And quite frankly, yeah. A plus. Perfect. A plus. Perfect. Fuck all those other people. Yeah, all of them. Fuck John Williams. Right in his fucking ass. Fuck James Horner. Yeah. Fuck him. And fuck Danny Elfman. Fuck Randy <laughs> Newman. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like Randy Newman. Right? That's yeah. right. Fuck Steven Spielberg, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Fuck, them all. fuck Gandhi, right? Yeah. <laughs> and fuck Hitler, too. Fuck Stuff of Love Again. Fuck up. Dumb Elephant. <laughs> all right, seriously. We are the Watchers. My name is Eastside Dave McDonald. Uh, another round of applause for me because we like clapping. With us is uh, usually Chris Pepper Stanley, and he may or may not arrive uh, as the Watchers is in progression. Sitting in for him is everyone's favorite, Gabby Baby, yeah. in the house. Hi, Gabe. Hey, what's up? Also with us, the engineer extraordinaire, Sean hey, O'Barry. And Roy Schaefer Harder. Hello, he, he, he gives you the little uh, insane comments there. <laughs> and, uh, and everyone has a good old time. And this is our monthly movie show. And it's December, which means it's our big year in uh, review show. That's Except right, for huh? the fact that I only have seen Boyhood and Interstellar. <laughs> so I only have those to go by. You've seen two more Interstellar than me. Interstellar is good. Boyhood sucks big, fat, hippopotamus dicks. All right. That's the right. fact that Boyhood is looks to be the front runner of the Oscars and the this and the Golden Globes and the that and the thing. In fact, here's a list right here. This is uh, according to Metacritic.com, which combined all of the critics, the major critics from magazines and websites. Okay. Yeah. Boyhood, number one, the coming of age movie that Richard Linkletter filmed intermittently over an 11 year period in Texas. Literally, the only thing that Boyhood's got going for it is the first film where we follow the child from when he's a little kid right. to when he's like 20 years old. Mm -hmm. It was filmed, obviously, so literally over 11 years. So it's a documentary. It's not a documentary because, you know, Patricia fucking Arquette's in the movie. For 11 but years. It's one of the worst films I've seen in a long time that's gotten big Oscar buzz. Mm -hmm. the, the previous one being Crash with Sandra Bullock, mm -hmm. yep. which was the biggest piece of shit Attempt to be like a Paul Thomas Anderson a la Magnolia type of film. Oh, was that terrible. Boyhood takes the cake. And if Boyhood comes out and wins an Oscar and is uh, number one in all these fucking lists, Davy Mack's going to have a heart attack. Thoughts and no. opinions? Has anyone seen Boyhood? Anyone at all on the Watchers panel? <laughs> Let's be honest. I felt like I aged 11 years watching that movie. Did you really see it? No. No, okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I, John? I've also not seen it, but I've seen documentaries done in the same fashion where this guy uh, recorded this kid named Sean yeah. uh, in Hate Ashbury in, uh, sure. in the 60s. Yeah, 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 I and know then, this. And then they went back to they him went back. later yeah, in yeah, life. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. similar. They didn't well, catch a great every documentary year. that took a, a long time to you know follow the kids was from uh, was uh, the basketball uh, movie, whatever the hell that's fucking called. There was uh, Hoop Dreams. Uh, and um, the they basically diaries. followed these kids when they were like 13 years old and followed them all the way into freshman year of college. So we're talking, that was like six years. But that's, been a, done. that's a true blue doc. Yeah. This is a guy, Ethan Hawke's in it, and, yeah. and the people get old. So wait, do people have like lines? Well, here's like the, people have a script that they're yes, reading? Yes, there was a script. There was a script. It's just that they would take then three years off, let the characters get older. Okay, mm. now he's a teenager. Okay. Film it when he's a teenager. So this is oh, done let's a take it off. Did you think let's it was a silent it. film or something? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Would have thought that. Whoa! Who no. the fuck saw that coming? I to see this guy all of a sudden is just asking a goddamn 
And it's a question. It was a, it was a good and question. And he shuts because a fucking dick in Sean's ass. Pow. Mm. Boom. A spiked dick from seven. If I had an organ. Which killed the guy. If I had an organ. Because it was lust. It. A knife in it. A knife. A knife dildo. Uh, yeah. Just lying there. A Blade. razor cock. You know what? Knife dildo. That's going in the band name. List. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, of course. <laughs> I'm telling you, Sean, I own three of them. Huh? <laughs> and I'll tell you this one. Right? I even do uh, uh, commercials for him. It, it's like this. Davy Max knife dildo. <laughs> the ladies hate them. <laughs> and, and Guys I, love them. I haven't sold any yet. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, I'm. I, I, I mean, I, as I explained to Kevin O'Leary and Mark Cuban on Shark Tank oh. when I pitched this product, I, uh, they asked yeah. me what were my sales today. I said zero, zero point zero sales, Ooh. and they said, "Well, you realize you're selling a, a knife dildo, which could cut a woman's vagina." And I said, "Hey, baby, <laughs> this is why I need your fucking help. Now I need uh, three hundred thousand dollars for ten percent." Who's your main competitor? You know what I'm saying? Shotgun dildo. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my my main computer is ass cannon, <laughs> where they just have a little miniature cannon that shoots well. women's asses. <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking gross. <laughs> And really, we hate those ass cannon people. Oh, oh with their fancy fucking logo yeah. and the millions of dollars they spend on advertising. We're more of a grassroots company. I like Davey that. Davey Bax, knife uh, dildos. percent for an impetuity. <laughs> Who's that one guy? You got, yeah, Kevin O'Leary. Kevin O'Leary. Yeah, I love that fucking guy. Pertuities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Wonderful. Yeah. So save yourself three and a half hours of the worst uh, uh, time of your life with boyhood. <laughs> because I'm going to let you know, nothing happened. At you, one point, Patricia Arquette... She's married to some guy. She gets naked. The guy's drunk. He beats her in the fucking head, slams her head against the washing and dry, well, you know, washing machine and dryer, right? Mm -hmm. You would think, oh, okay, we finally have something here. They skate right over it. The kid's personality doesn't change. Patricia Arquette leaves the guy, but then that's it. Then they cut three years later. She's just like a single mom living in the apartment. No one's personality changed. <laughs> no one said, hey, mom. It sort of sucks that we're now living in this one uh, uh, roof apartment here because uh, you got beaten up by a drunk man, right? No one talks about Sounds it. The kids don't even, he's like, okay, I'm just going to keep going with the flow. That's life for him. It's a fucking piece of shite. So, so would you compare it to... In fact, it even makes me hate Days of Confused now. That's how much wow. I what? hate this film. That's harsh. Directed by Richard Linkletter. That's right, yeah. It's making me reevaluate all of Linkletter's films. Better than a cartoon. Those sunset, sunset in Paris, sunset over here, sunset up my dick. Whoa. How about that, Ethan Hawke and that French lady? Hey, make another fucking sunset movie where you're tritely walking around <laughs> Paris. <laughs> uh, what is love anyway? Uh, shut up! Shut the fuck up! Passion. I'm sick of you, Linkletter. Yeah. You ruined it! What do you want, Gabe? <laughs> Have you seen the Star Wars trailer, Dave? Well, yes. This is a much <laughs> nicer topic. I, I will tell you this. I wish they would have made that that movie uh, about a boy uh, with... Uh, boyhood? Boyhood, that's the one. A girl? With, <laughs> with a girl. No, with the kids that girl. played Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because he would have been such He's a back prick. after delivering the worst childhood yeah. performance in cinematic history. He, he, he hates... He hates... He hates Star Wars now. When he went back to school... Of course he, he does. He was endless, in the worst one. Yeah. He got endless abuse. He was in one Star Wars film. Right. Yeah. And it's the only one that is totally, totally unwatchable. I can watch Attack of the Clones. I actually I, love, I love Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, that's uh, good. Uh, and of course, the original prequel, I mean, the original one trilogy episode. is phenomenal. They're, yeah, they're, yeah. they're all phenomenal. But he's literally in the only truly shitty Star Wars it's film. It's not a good movie. No. Or it's, it's not a good film, I'll say. It, it, is, it, didn't it had Qui-Gon when it was good at the end. Of, okay, listen. Yeah. Let's go okay. right into All it. Alright, okay. Do it. Let's do it. We're, this is now we this small segment, Roy. Yes. Uh, oh, you don't play keyboards not, on this show, this do you? Show. Okay, yeah. sorry. I was going to ask for some if Star I, Wars I music. Like a Union, dollar? Won't, Union won't let me. What if we ask... Roy's only a Davy Max Sports program uh, keyboardist. But what I'm if sorry. I don't get Roy Schaefer? You know, several people... What if I get Roy Weinberg to do it? <laughs> right. Mm. <laughs> several people yes, David. have asked Roy to play yeah? on their shows. You know what Roy tells him? Fuck off. He says, go fuck off, Scheiser heads. That's right. <laughs> Which is German for shitheads. I'm aware. I'm a, I'm they only have apparently a German word for head. Awesome. But, but okay. I'll tell you this. So here, you hear that? Schoenstacher. You know who wanted Roy? David Letterman. You know who else? Brian Williams, which mm, was weird, because I don't know why, why you put a keyboard in a goddamn news show. Stingers. Yeah. The... You're like, a bowl is breaking out. Bing! Yeah. <laughs> it's like a sports program. <laughs> <laughs> but Dave, the Star Wars trailer. Well, listen. Here's the bottom line. The Force Awakens. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. I saw the Star Wars of the Force Awakens trailer. 
I've seen enough. December 2015, yep. officially, the greatest film of all time comes out. Wow. wow. Star Wars, Strong. The Force Awakens, his set I'm, film. I'm not clapping. First of all, did you guys see that Millennium Falcon? Yeah, look, that's right. back Whoa. in the movie. Whoa, was that the Millennium Spoiler Falcon? Spoiler alert. I don't know if that was the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Why don't you think it was the Millennium Falcon? I don't know. That was a YT-1300 vessel. I do not know if that was the Millennium Falcon. Gabe, yeah. do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> because let me tell you something. That was the Millennium Falcon. But we so don't wait, know. Wait, Did here, you check the radar dish? I was, was it missing? Perfect. Perfect. I'm glad you brought that up. Thank you. Because this is why this movie is going to destroy. Okay. The attention to detail with which J.J. Abrams is approaching this already okay. is obvious. For starters, Gabe just brought up, was the satellite dish missing? Now, Gabe, yeah. for those of you, you know, not thoroughly into Star Wars, let's reset. Okay. At the end of Return of the Jedi... The when uh, Lando Calrissian mm -hmm. is flying with Wedge Antilles, no. the Falcon. Yes. What do you mean no? Well, his co-pilot was the Celestian fella. I know, but the Wedge who was a fucking like X-Wing that was helping him out. He was his wingman, you're right. You're right, I am right. The two ships went in, the Falcon yeah, uh, and the X-Wing. Yes. You talking about the fish lips guy? That Captain, yeah, no. Yeah, the Celestian. Oh. Yeah, right. like but that's not Wedge Antilles. He's, like, no, 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 He's no, a fucking human, you bastards. He was flying in an X-wing. Hmm? Yes, and Lando and the and the weird Asian fish but man <laughs> were, were, were sitting he next to him. It's a celestial. But Dave, he, they were, <laughs> this is not the point of the Death Star. My fucking story. <laughs> they were doing something important. So they go in to blow up the second Death Star, <laughs> That's right? Right. What happens? The Millennium Falcon hits the top of the uh, the inner core of the they Death hit Star. The pipes. Satellite dish gets ripped off. And what does Lando and say? And Lando goes, "That was too close." <laughs> right. Now, I was too close, Lando. Look at the Star Wars trailer. <laughs> the Millennium Falcon, as we all know, mm -hmm. has a in the in the George Lucas original trilogy Four, has a circular satellite dish. That's right. Look at the Star Wars tra trailer closely, and you'll see Millennium Falcon now has a rectangular satellite dish. So they replaced it. The point is, they stayed consistent. Who would have even thought? To stay consistent to that small of a detail where we're going to fucking now change a small little thing. Most people didn't even notice. They just see the big Millennium Falcon. They're not noticing the small little satellite dish on top. It's rectangular, not circle. The fact is he's honoring the original uh, trilogy but continuing the story forth. See, this mm. will be the greatest uh, movie mm. ever. No, Wait, sorry, can I, can I ask you guys something? Did, uh, go ahead. I know George Lucas wrote all the books, right? Now, did it continue after Return of the books. Jedi? Uh, he didn't, didn't write the books. books. What the hell is Sean O'Toole talking about? Didn't he oh, write wait. the books? Books? Those don't. Uh, those don't uh, you're thinking, those of, Game, you're thinking of Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah that's those, fucking uh, J.R.R. Tolkien. Th th or okay. someone. Uh, some uh, some guy with a lots of initials. Sean, don't talk about those. All, right. All those <laughs> fancy guys have like eight letters no, to their yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, Martin. B R S Q W Longfellow. So who wrote the Star Wars books? What books? Timothy Zahn. Wrote oh, a trilogy those. of books, but listen, this that ain't extra, the fucking readers, bro. Extra this is the stuff. watchers. That extra you think Davy Mac reads one fucking sentence? Dave, if my mom was dying right. and sent me a letter saying, D "Dave, this is important. It's a secret information." Okay. You know what I do? I take it on her hospital bed. I take a lighter and burn it in front of her, and I'd say, "Davy Mac, don't read, bitch." Right. Right. Then I'd walk out of the room. Then I then I take the IV out of her arm. And then she she would just say, "Well, I was just here for a routine checkup. <laughs> it was just a physical. Yeah. I don't. I would I would I would, pull, I would pull the plug on her and I would poison her and shoot her. And she was just like, I, I was just here to you know, Dave, get my tits checked. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say, whoops, I I, I I thought you were dying. Sorry, wow. Mama. It's all right though. She's okay though, right?" Husband. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, she's okay in terms of um, physical health. Hey, that's those titties. Met mental stability. Titties good? Titties are, you know, fucking good, <laughs> man. They're fucking hot, man. Oh, my God. Dave, the R2 unit. <laughs> I'm just, I got two more that we got to talk about, and then whatever. <laughs> the R2 unit. Yeah. <laughs> well, what about the R2 unit? What, after talking talking about my mom's breasts, you want to go into the goddamn little ball? Yes! The new R2-D2 ball? We're talking about the controversial elements now. Controversial? There were two That ball R2-D2 is great! I thought it was great. Who I didn't like that? Fans on the internet. <laughs> Fuck fans! I am serious right now. 
This is the one part that I am going to be serious. Yeah. If fans of Star Wars yes. are being cynical about this in any way, uh, mm. go fuck yourself. I don't. We don't need your ticket money. This movie's gonna rock. There, with everything was flawless. <laughs> the stormtrooper getting up. Oh, yeah. and, and, and this poor bastard had to deal with racism, by the way, on the internet, where people oh, were yeah, attacking him, saying, guy. "Why would there be a black stormtrooper?" Why oh, would there be? I'm sorry. Why would there be an eight foot fucking walking talking dog <laughs> whose name is Chewbacca? <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up with your bigotry, you cock. That was a good repeat, Sean. I don't think I didn't catch it. The fuck? Thank and you. by the way, well, he's well, not a stormtrooper. You, he's probably a spy. He's working were, for the rebels, you assholes. I like, did, did you like the redesign of the helmets? The, the, the new Gabe, I love the helmets. I love. I hated the, the guns. I love the guns. The guns were stupid. Guns ruled. The, the, and by the way, they it, had like flashy bits that they didn't need. Look carefully at the back of the stormtroopers. Also, a difference. Mm. The old stormtrooper backs used to have a little circle like uh, shit. with a little. Well, hold, <laughs> no, no, on their backs, like oh. a little circle, <laughs> about the size of a, a, ba- a baseball, and then a little square next to it. Now it's just a gray circle on the back. Some sort of magnetic uh, satellite uh, uh, thing. They've advanced their technology. So they're remaining true to the stormtroopers, but, but, but little additions, upgrades. little details. But, okay. Everything is working. No, everything is and not finally, Everything is not working. One last, one no, no, last no, no, statement no, 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 before no, no, no. Gabe gives us some ridiculous comment. Okay. If one of these motherfuckers <laughs> comes and talks to Davey Mack yeah. and say, what the fuck was that lightsaber mm. with yes! the two things shooting at the end? Boom! Davey Mack says... Go fuck yourself. No, like that it. lightsaber, Dave, that was bull Sith. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> See what uh, Gabe said, Shano? Bull Sith. Oh, my God. Like the dark that side. That was yeah. good, right? Sith warriors yeah. are the dark side. Okay, good, good. Bull, bull. Mark, Mark, yeah! Mark that shit. I'm pounding yeah. it. Yeah. it, baby. Well, it. Pound it, blow it up. Boom. Pound and blow. Pound and blow. <laughs> Pound and blow and suck it. And then oh, suck wait. it like it's a dick. What? No. Mm. Oh, wait. Don't come in my mouth, though. I just brushed my <laughs> teeth. <laughs> Don't come in my mouth. I just brushed my teeth. Oh, you call me my mouth. <laughs> I just brushed my teeth. And you I, come. You why? come. Oh, Dave. Oh, I come. <laughs> and I just brushed my teeth. And you come. Why and I just call me. Call me Carter Control. Why do you call me? Why did it? I got saliva on me. Why did you like that lightsaber? It was atrocious. Well, why? Was why? Shit. What the fuck? Fuck! Is Dude, it atrocious for? Did you it looks see the great. lava lamp design? It was all like wavy. That was nonsense. Oh. I had a fu- that Hey, is- bro! <laughs> Have you seen a lightsaber? He, he just clearly, pissed. he clearly is an untrained no. Sith no, no, warrior. No, 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 no. Don't give him an who, excuse. Who, this is the reason nah, why. Nah, 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 nah. What does Vader say to Luke Skywalker in Return of the Jedi when he first sees his green lightsaber? What does he say? Uh, you've done well. You've constructed a new lightsaber. Exactly. He says, I see you've constructed a new lightsaber. Your skills are now complete. In other words, creating your own lightsaber is Don't. part of being a Jedi or a Sith warrior. The reason that. why his... His lightsaber is a little weird and wobbly. Is because he is not on that Vader Sith warrior master so level. It's not a so his lightsaber that makes sense to me, would be a, a fucking little sketchier. It's Bam. not a lightsaber. I love Bam. it. You know what? Bam. That cross guard. It's <laughs> <laughs> good rhythm. It's good rhythm. I want to hear your no, fucking no, no, no. shit. That cross guard is. <laughs> Pointless as well. Don't we run unless no it's <laughs> unless it's Mandalorian iron. That cross guard is just gonna hurt him. Why are you unplugging your mic? Hey, you know what, Gabe? Go fuck yourself. No, <laughs> don't give me that, dude. So it I was am stupid. so happy. I am nervous because of this. Just because of the lightsaber. The lightsaber is an iconic. It could be like a handguard. You know, nothing it, can get past those laser whoa, beams. Whoa, whoa, lightsaber whoa, 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 bro! The up? only good thing. Do of Phantom Menace You're gonna break was heart. the Darth Maul, oh, okay. Qui Gon, uh, yeah, Obi Wan Kenobi, that, that, that and that right. lightsaber that, fucking rocked. That and that was, was not true to the, you know, no. Obi Wan Kenobi Episode Four: A New Hope that lightsaber. Is, that, is that was a totally. So what, why would you expect them not to that change is, that a lightsaber? That is technically classified as a Sith lightsaber, uh, for the record. Listen to this uh, fucking guy. What about that guy with the four arms, the general? Grievous, I mean, he had four lightsabers. That's what I'm saying. But they were normal lightsabers. They would, they had no crossguard nonsense. But he nonsense. had four of them. Yes, and he was trained by Count Dooku. So did he build them all? 
He uh, built his own? No, he actually killed Jedi for those. Whoa. Yeah. He killed him, Sean. That's heavy. That's yeah. heavy. He, he was, was a, a fucking, was, uh, he was a was Jedi loot. assassin. That was loot. That's what this uh, this uh, piece of shit was, you know? I don't, I don't like the lightsaber, Dave. Uh, okay, well, that, that completes the uh, Dave and Gabe can, can Star we, no, Wars show. No, no, let's show. keep going. I'm good. No. Yay. Oh. We might get back into it. All right. It's a metronome for the show. A metronome? Yeah. What the hell is that? I'll just keep referencing it throughout the next what, 20 minutes. <laughs> a metronome keeps a steady beat. Roy? Beats Bam. per minute. That's right, Davey. I know one of your favorite documentaries is The Last Waltz. That's right. Yeah, right. you know it. I watched it today. It could also be classified as a... Uh, I want to lay down beside you. I thought you didn't play Whoa, keyboards. Hey, it's Roy Weinberg. Well, when you go into The Last Waltz... I want to hold somebody close by. Like a girl that goes hard for you, and I go and sip, sip the wine. Oh, sip the wine. Well, my point is this: the last waltz is a documentary. Can go fuck itself. Whoa. Yeah, in fact, stop playing this song because I watched a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love how lackadaisical Sean grabbed the brushes. <laughs> in fact, the uh, doc- I just rewatched documentary I got on Blu-ray. Uh huh. Which right? one, Dave? It's called The War Room. Hmm. The War Room, huh? And if you have not seen The War Room, okay, it's a film uh, um, chronicling uh, uh, James Carville. Okay. And George Stephanopoulos getting Bill Clinton elected as president of the United States of America in 1992. It's the 92 presidential campaign. All right. And the access that they had to these people was utterly unprecedented. And still, we still haven't seen access like that. Even in this social media digital age we uh, we live in, we have more stories. We have more dirt about people. But we don't have cameras Going into strategic meetings, right? Nope. Right, right. This is like the greatest documentary of all time. I want someone, anyone, to, to, to bring up a documentary that could even compare to The War Room, starting with Sean O'Barry. I watched a great documentary today called Whitey. What's it about? Whitey Bulger. Really? Yeah, uh, and loosely the, the uh, Jack Nicholson character in The Departed, the Departed yeah. a real gangster in Boston, yeah. yep. really on the run, and really did uh, like work with the Fed. Or had, no, his brother or something was, was on the Feds or no, was, was a governor uh, or something uh, that, like that. That was basically what the documentary was about. It was controversy between when this trial came about, and he basically had to uh, uh, go on trial, and they were saying the Feds had the, at him as an informant. But at the same time, there's other camp that says that he was not actually an informant and the feds made it up. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, Heavy in duty. Order, in order to get his name on various he, uh, search warrants and subpoenas. When's his trial going? When's his trial going on? Uh, it's done. He's, he's serving. He's in jail? Trial. Yeah, he's in jail. Oh. Why Spoiler you, alert. Why is that oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Roy, documentary I, that could compare. I liked, I liked uh, the story of Anvil. The heavy metal band. That you like that one, huh? Yeah, I thought that was good. I thought that was good. I I have to say I probably overhyped myself a little, oh. and I I had big expectations for Anvil. Okay, it right. was a fun watch. Right, right. Can't compare it to the War Room. Okay, I, I'm, I mean I'm sorry, but getting a president elected is about as serious as a, a fucking topic. I guess that you know West Memphis Three doc, the series of documentaries on those kids. But now I, I, I tried to even watch one of the more recent ones and I couldn't. It was too graphic to see little fucking kids in the river. You know, you know anything Jesus. about this West Memphis Three thing? Uh, you don't I, know what I'm talking I about? Have no idea. Holy shit! You're but a musician. I, I thought I, I thought for sure you would know this. Not this one. Um, I do know the uh, Metallica documentary. You know the Metallica documentary, <laughs> some kind of monster. Yeah. That's okay. Well, let's one. just move on to Gabe. <laughs> uh, Gabe, babe. The, What's up, bro? The Ken Burns Civil War documentary. That, those were really awesome. Everything Ken Burns does is uh, cool. is uh, fucking ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? In the positive sense? Um, no, I mean, I love baseball. I love uh, uh, all of those things. And I'll tell you something else, too, about this uh, Ken Burns. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, baseball. You watch this uh, documentary. Holy shit. It's a good one, right? You watch... Uh, baseball. You, yeah. you ever watch that, Roy? No. Ty Cobb? <laughs> I, Honus no. Wagner? You know no. who I'm talking about? Christy Matthewson. Some okay. of these names ring a bell. Bob Feller? Shoeless Get Joe Get to about Shoeless Joe? Babe yeah. Ruth. Ever know that? Babe yeah. Ruth. Yeah. Ever see that? Hack yeah. Wilson. Yeah. yeah. You, you know Hack Wilson? Lou Gehrig. Dizzy Dean? Is yeah. that name from uh, Daffy Dean? His brother on the Cardinals. I think it got a jersey. Both of it. You, you, do you know these guys? Jolton Joe DiMaggio. He's you know like, that guy? Number 14, right? On the Jets? Well, he started Jets. his streak July 8th. That's all the streak you know. He's just a man and not a freak. Jolton Joe DiMaggio. Joe, Joe DiMaggio. We want you on our side. He got that hit in Cleveland then. And that's all you know. That's all I wrote for Jippy Joe. A jolt and Joe DiMaggio. Joe, Joe DiMaggio. We want you on our side. The streak ended in August, and the streak is over. But he still did America proud. He's Jolt and Joe DiMaggio. Joe, Joe DiMaggio. We want you on our side. Were you just playing skip rope? It's the old Negro spiritual. That's Jesus a, rope. Jolton Joe DiMaggio Jolton was a Joe uh, white man. <laughs> just so you know, he's pretty famous. Why, pretty Roy? fucking famous You're guy. You're doing so well, Roy. You know? <laughs> we're so well behaved. I know. I know. He killed me right oh, at the end. Jeez, I bet you wrote those Star Wars comments. Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah. Gabe. What's up? I, I Is it, it the new Star Wars? No. You, here's here's what people need to know, understand about Gabe. He knows jack and shit about what he's talking about. What? No, because I know, my kids, I know one. Thing. My kids demanded to dress like Star Lord and the other one and Groot and everything like this. The but they all are so into Guardians of the Galaxy. It's I'm telling movie. you, it's the it's new Star good, Wars. I, maybe, but until it's, December 2015, that's right. When Come Star on, Wars right will once again become the new yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. So Guardians of the Galaxy. Enjoy, enjoy it for a it. year. You got enjoy your, your year. championship belt for a year, That's dicks. Right. Dicks, because fuck. A tables, ladders, and chairs. And wait, wrong. Fuck face. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Thanks, Roy. Fuck dick. <laughs> good job. This is a good promo. You know, uh, <laughs> I always tell uh, my mom. Needle yeah. penis. This is a true story. We, okay. we moved on, Roy. <laughs> yeah. okay. My mom said uh, one time, she said, uh, I'm a big fan of Queen Latifah. And I go. Who is uh, it though? You know? And I go like this. Right, I said yeah. to her, "This is at a public uh, restaurant," and I said, "Bullshit." <laughs> <laughs> and here's here's the point. And this is actually a true conversation. I said, "What makes you a fan of Queen Latifah?" And I said, "Before you even answer that, I guarantee you, I know why. You just saw Chicago. I know you love the movies. You love musicals, Catherine Zeta Jones, all this stuff." And she says. Yes, I do. I do. And uh, how did you know? I, I, I absolutely adored her in Chicago. And I said, then you, my friend, are not a fucking fan. <laughs> <laughs> and here's my rule, and I think it's a good one. All right. You need to be a fan of someone in three movies. Mm. Three. Yeah. Okay. You need to love them in three movies Oof. and love the movies three times in order to say you're a fan. So I asked my mom, did you like that Steve Martin movie where she has the billions of kids and oh, she's some yeah, fucking yeah. nanny for some reason? No. Did you like that movie about Taxi with uh, Jimmy uh, Fallon? <laughs> I never even heard of it. And uh, did, 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 driver, I think. did you like you and I, T.Y.? You and I, T.Y.? Did you like this, Mom? Rick and Jane. She goes, she was a rapper? And I go, Mommy, you don't know shit about Queen Latifah. <laughs> End the uh, end the discussion. You're not a fan. I like that. Wolf and she just sat quietly. By the way, and then I had to say, oh, and by the way, happy 70th birthday, mom. Oh, what'd you and, get her? Uh, nothing. <laughs> you nothing. Just, nothing. You oh. just pissed great. off. It's <laughs> so <look> great, mom. <laughs> Well, I liked her in the um, in the Will Ferrell movie where he was uh, a storybook character oh, walking it. around. Oh, the um, stop, stop. Oh no, the, Adventures of Walter Smitty or whatever. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, yeah. the editor. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know what the. That was all right. It's a good one. He Here's my point. He going back, go ahead, he I'm listening. He should have died. Going back to Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, spoiler. 
<laughs> I didn't even realize yeah. that Star Lord, the hero, the yeah. sort of Han Soloish guy. From, uh, Park I and didn't Rec. even realize. Well, I don't watch that fucking shit. <laughs> but I didn't yeah. realize. Forget about Parks and Recreation. I didn't in, realize uh, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Right. That he was Jurassic. Scotty Haddenberg in Moneyball. The yeah. first baseman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and he's the guy who hits the home run at the end. Spoiler right. alert, he hits the home run at the end. But it's you know not, what? It's, you, it's, the fi- it's the Oakland A's, for Christ's he's, sake. Uh, he's the main lead in Jurassic World. So now yeah. what I'm saying is Moneyball, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy, mm-hmm. if I like this new Jurassic Park movie, yeah. then all of a sudden I'm the, big, I'm the world's You're biggest Chris, Chris Pratt, Pratt, Pratt fan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know how it uh, happened. But yeah. I, I love Moneyball, yeah, and I loved Guardians of the Galaxy. Awesome. And hopefully I'm going to love this new uh, fucking Jurassic World. I don't, I don't yeah. like that they genetically engineered That'll it. do it. You know, like what? <laughs> they, they genetically engineered a dinosaur. Why not just have like a, another new dinosaur? The theme for tonight, Gabe? What? Go fuck yourself. What? No. None of this. <laughs> and that'll wrap up the Watchers for the month of December. I'm going to tell you about Star Wars My favorite on the film of the year, The Grand Budapest Hotel yeah. by Wes Anderson. Woo. If we're talking end of the year review, Grand Budapest Hotel, and then don't bother watching anything else. <laughs> Davey Mack, Chardo, Roy Schaefer, yeah. Gabey Baby, Chris Pepper Stanley. Good night! Yeah. Woo!